The Zika virus has been around in humans since 1952, when the first case was documented. The virus may have changed, but there's no doubt that we have. We now travel more, live closer together, and our planet's climate has become warmer and wetter. Born in shallow pools of water, the Aedes aegypti mosquito is a carrier of the Zika virus, and others such as yellow fever and dengue. Unlike us, it only travels an average of 400 metres from where it's born. A female mosquito's top priority is to lay eggs, and to do so, she must feed. And so, she goes hunting, biting, in an attempt to find a rich source of nutrition, blood. If she's carrying the Zika virus, it can enter the fresh wound, leaving a small amount of the virus behind. The virus can now multiply, often unnoticed, triggering a relatively minor fever and rash in around a fifth of those infected. And when an uninfected mosquito bites an infected person, the virus can be passed along again, continuing the cycle. Largely oblivious to the infection, we carry on, living, working and travelling. As a consequence, Zika has hopped the globe from Africa through several countries and smaller islands until it reached South America. Here, the huge landmass and dense populations now exposed to Aedes aegypti means that infection can spread. And because most of us have never been exposed to the virus, our immune systems are unable to fight back. For Zika and Aedes aegypti, geographical borders are irrelevant. They'll continue to spread as long as pop... If local communities and global organisations work together, we can share ideas that will help us slow the rate of Zika's spread. We can monitor to the Zika crisis by making available a nuclear technique that controls pests by rendering the males infertile with radiation. Millions of sterile male insects need to be released in the wild over many months. Eventually, populations decline because mating produces no offspring. The experts are now developing techniques for the mass rearing of mosquitoes. Over 100,000 mosquitoes from three different species are kept here. Special attention is given to this one, Aedes aegypti, which is responsible for spreading the Zika virus. An environment has been created for the entire life cycle of the mosquito, from the egg to the larvae, the pupae to the adult. In some countries of the Western Hemisphere, there is currently no vaccine or treatment. The symptoms include fever, red eyes, muscle pain, joint pain, rash, and headache, and can last from three to seven days. Prevention is the best way to avoid infection. Avoid unnecessary travel to affected countries. When you're outside, cover exposed areas with long sleeve clothes and pants and use insect repellent frequently.